see. Hi guys, how y'all doing? So today is 14 days from my tonsillectomy. And I will say, I am extremely hungry. Gino, huh, stop. Stop, okay, you're not always gonna be getting stuff. Just cause you go outside, you don't get a treat all the time, there. Sorry, he wanted a treat. He just was outside. So you think every time he go outside, he's supposed to get a treat. And half of the time, he just stand on the porch. Okay, so day 14 with the tonsillectomy. So I won't be able to eat solid food until July 7th. They said a full 30 days, no solid food. So the antibiotics and stuff that I want, I am extremely hungry. So I'm still eating you know, just the, the uh, soft food. So today, I'm going to make some tuna. It's just an easy recipe. Normally, I put eggs in mine. And that would be some protein. But I'm actually going to have some avocado. So I'm not going to put any eggs in it. Because I'm going to use... I'm going to eat some avocado as well. Because I am, like, really, really hungry, guys. I will say that, like... Boy, just... Having that tonsillectomy, especially when you like to, like, you know, make certain foods and eat certain foods, I'm feeling a lot better, but just the hunger pains is, like, no joke. So, I'm just feeling that, that hunger, hunger, hunger. So, we're going to do a real quick, easy recipe for some tuna because I'm, like, really hungry. So, I use my All Complete, put some in there. We're going to use a little mustard and this mustard got a little spice to it but not like it's got it's not like where to burn my tongue so it's not like that not to that degree it's got like a little um it's like a uh maybe a honey mustard or a little you know i have that sweet end but not like spicy like that so we're going to use a little miracle whip okay We're going to use some pickle radish. And I'm going to do me an avocado. And I'm going to eat this. And I'm going to kind of lay down. Today I'm like, I'm not, I don't know, I just feel weak. And, and I think it's because I'm hungry. Like the foods that I'm eating is not giving me, um, you know, the stuff that I need to feel like full. I'm just not feeling full, so I guess that makes me feel weak and tired. So, yeah, we're going to do this quick, fast recipe of some tuna, okay? And I'm going to eat this. I'm going to make me some avocados as well. I'm going to make some avocados as well and go from there. So, when you make tuna, I know y'all have made tuna before. It's real easy. Normally, I boil eggs and put it in my Some people put celery different stuff like that i don't have any celery so i'm not gonna um put any celery in it so mayo pickle radish mustard and i always put like my own little flavor i put like a little i ran out of garlic so i'm gonna use just teeny bent uh that garlic so okay and this is what i'm gonna eat i'm gonna have the tuna I'm going to have the tuna and some avocados because, you know, no crackers, no nothing like that. So, I'm going to have to just get full off the protein from the tuna and the avocados. The soup, I'm just kind of tired of it. So, they said for 30 days, I'll eat this. So, overall, I'm feeling great. Just the only thing from the antibiotic and stuff like that. And it's time for me to take another dose of, of uh, ibuprofen antibiotics. I stopped taking the Oxycontin because I have not been in pain. So I'm not even taking, remember, I wasn't really taking that anyway. So I'm going to stop taking that, like, all this. I'm done with it. So. Okay, so it's all mixed up. So I'm going to eat this tuna. I'm going to mix up me a avocado, and we did avocados a whole lot. So I just want to check in today, day 14. Tom select me, doing real good. Uh, the healing is going great. Uh, my mouth feels great. Just overall, I'm just really hungry. Yeah, like still soft foods and stuff. I have been doing little frozen dinners and stuff, but I've just been extremely hungry. But I think the antibiotics is kind of probably sucking up a lot of the food. 
one of the little stuff that I'm that I'm eating. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. You're not going back outside. You're not. So with that, I appreciate you guys being here and supporting me. And, and I hope that this helps somebody. And somebody asked me, why at 50 years old did you decide to get your tonsils took out? It wasn't a choice that I chose to get my tonsils taken out. I got a uh, septus from a dental infection like two years ago. And ever since then, I've been having inflammatory problems with my throat, my tonsils enlarged, pain, fever, constantly going back and forth to the doctor, getting put on antibiotics and different things like that due to my tonsils. So I, within the past two years, I have been on um, antibiotics nine times. And you know, eventually if you keep doing this antibiotic stuff, your body will break down and you won't, you know what I mean? So you can't always keep taking the antibody. You know, come here, something on you. Come here, babe. Yeah, um, eventually your body will break down. So you can't always have uh, antibodies. You got something on you. I got to check you out. So you can't always uh, keep having antibiotics. So it was a medical decision why my tonsils had to come out. So I didn't make that decision. The doctor was like, hey, you want to keep coming? And eventually the antibiotics probably won't work because you've been on them consistently within the past two years so that's when they made the decision it's good that they took them out because when they test my tonsils they test for cancer and stuff like that um my tonsils was inflamed from a bacterial viral infection which was sepsis so it kept reoccurring in my tonsils where i couldn't swallow it to feel like i swallowed glass so that's why my tonsils had to come out they wind up taking my tonsils out. And, um, you know, sometimes on the internet, it's like we post our videos and we show, like, hey, I'm making this, I'm doing this, or whatever. And um, my posting is for me, my mental health, things for me to do to stay active because I'm not really a people person. So it's, it's me still staying active, doing my stuff. And also for my family and friends, it's not close to me. If they're not talking to me on the phone, they can also know that I'm fine from videos and stuff because they don't live in the same state while I live. But you get some people that be so rude and just the stuff that they say to you is like, y'all get on these internet and y'all just become just some real bullies and gangster people that y'all would say some of the crudest, disrespectful things to people and think that is okay. And I guarantee you the people that talk to other people like that, y'all are so sensitive that if somebody said something back to y'all, y'all really couldn't take it. So remember, when you say something so bad and so ugly to somebody, how would you feel if somebody said something so bad and so ugly to you? So it's just, it's mind-blowing how people can be so disrespectful and say some of the cruelest and disrespectful thing. But I guess that's the point of being on the internet. And you could kind of, you know, your uh, freedom of speech. And you could say kind of what you want. <laughs> so uh, it's just, it's just mind-blowing. But anyway, with that being said, you guys have an awesome day. 14 days, tonsillectomy, getting better and better. The only thing now that I'm experiencing is I feel really tired today and hungry. I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. Cause I'm not getting full off the little bitty bites and stuff that I'm eating because no solid foods and stuff until July 7th, which would be 30 days. Thanks for watching. Toodles.